He was a shot in the dark who was nowhere my whole life. That shot in the dark kept you out of prison. Oh, and what do you call this dump? I call it home. I grew up here. So well, did your I father. Hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I ain't playing Green Acres. You got... What took you so long? Who could say? Well, who are you? <laughs> who are you? So I take it you know Michael. Yeah, I know Michael. Yeah? Well, I ain't nothing like Michael. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to find out? Woo! Make yourself comfortable. Why don't you mix? Lighten up, right. I'm on my lunch break. Yeah? Yeah. You want some rabbit food? That's all I can find. So this is why you haven't been answering the phone? You know, Michael's been looking for you. Gee, what a shame. Did he find another one of his kids under a cabbage leaf? No. He left a list of chores for you to do. When you rushed all the way over here to lay it on me. Thanks. Well, it was either me or Tomas, and so we flipped a coin, and I lost. Well, I shoveled manure all morning. I'm done for the day. <sighs> So what, you're gonna hang here and veg? And... Michael will love that. I could get lost. From what I hear, you're lost already. Not that I haven't been exactly where you are. You made your point, forget it. No, n look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. You wanna make it up to me? Show me a place in this town where I can find some hotters who aren't my sisters or cousins. Hotters? Yeah, girls, girls, Josie, you know, with different DNA. Huh? Well, can you help out a healthy boy or what? Uh, maybe you should check with Michael before you go checking out the chicks, Nick. Um, I didn't get the impression that that list could wait. List? Well, what list? Did you see a list? No, no, uh-uh. No, I am not getting into this. No, thank you. Oh, come on, Josie. Michael takes off every day without telling me where he's gone. I can pull a disappearing act, too. I'm sure you can. And I'm sure if you try, you can push all of Michael's buttons, too. Right, Nick? Speaking of which, you might as well put that plate in the sink. You know, what's with the head shrinking? I thought you wanted to be a cop. I do. They teach you to spot disaster brewing. You know what? Cops always know the worst parts of town, right? Why not, why not give me a guided tour? It's not like I know all the hot pickup joints, Nick. Come on. Well, there is one place. Yeah. Now, it may surprise you, all right? Oh, I, I love surprises. I love them, as long as they don't in involve relatives. Fine, then let's go. All right, let's go. John said he's going to have you released tomorrow, and then uh, I'm going to take you to meet your new probation officer. Well, I can take myself. Really? How, how are you going to get there, Hitch? Oh, I mean, it'll only take me a couple of hours to get John's bike up and running. And get... John's bike? What, do you, do you have a death wish or something? I mean, you just about killed yourself on it, and now you want to jump back on it the next day? You know what, Michael? You don't know a thing about me or what I want. Well, you're right, Nick. I don't know a thing about you. And at this rate, you're going to kill yourself before I have a chance to find out. All right, tell me something. All this caring, all this father-son bonding moments you're trying to create. Is it for me or for you? You know, Nick, you're absolutely right. The fact is, is this is just uh, one big, hairy experiment, right? I'm, I'm writing an article uh, for a scientific journal. I'm going to call it like a thousand and one ways to uh, pretend you care for your kid, but to really mess up his life completely. Something like that. I don't know. I mean, what other possible reason could I have for wanting you to be kept alive? Hmm? Well, for what? I don't want to live with you, and you don't want to live with me. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I mean, the only reason why you're doing all of this is because of guilt and some warped sense of honor. You got, you got a problem with honor? Well, if you want to play the hero, Michael, fine. That's just fine. 
But all this stuff you're doing, it's for you. It's not for me. So why don't you just say it? I mean, why do you prance in here and act like you give a damn? I do give a damn. Right. So sue me, all right? I'm your father. I am trying to be a good father. And in my book, a good father doesn't let his son go off and just kill himself. Look, the only reason you're a father at all to me is because I was will to you. Well, that's right. I did not ask for the circumstances. No, I didn't ask for you. You didn't ask for me. So I'm going to make this easy on everybody. Once I'm able to stand up without a migraine, I'm off this bed, out of town, and out of your life. Great. Well, that's, that's real bright. Well, then you won't have to deal with me anymore. Wouldn't that be great? No, I won't have to deal with you until I have to get your butt out of jail one more time. Well, so what if I get busted? Anything is better than this. Oh, I don't believe you. That's enough, both of you. Now, this bickering ends today. This bickering ends right now, Ma. Oh, oh, oh. listen to me, Michael. You're happy with yourself, Nick. You look at me when I speak to you. Now, I mean business. So you just shut that mouth and you listen for a change. Because I have something to say. If you're here to defend Michael, you're wasting your breath. Michael didn't get a wink of sleep last night because he was so upset about your accident. Well, I'm sorry about that. Yes, I can just believe that you are. Really, Nick, what was he trying to do? Clowning around on that machine? Why, you could have been killed. Come on, cut me a break, please. Cut you a break? I think Michael is the one who deserves the break, and I think it's time you gave it to him. Now, it isn't Michael's fault that he wasn't around when you were growing up. That was your mother's decision. As soon as he found out that you existed, he took full responsibility for you, and he took you in. You know, my lucky day. Yes, that's right. Your lucky day, and you better believe it. Now, if it wasn't for that man out there, you would be in jail right now. If it wasn't for Michael, you wouldn't have any family at all. When push came to shove, he stepped right in and he and he took you in without questioning anything as your as his own son. You think it's easy for for someone to step in as a father to some arrogant, angry teenager? What are you people gonna get? It? I don't want anyone stepping into anything. I don't need Michael, okay? Boom. I can take care of myself. EJ. This is my life. Doesn't anyone know that? It's my life. Mine, okay? I mean, if Michael had been there when I was younger, okay, maybe things would have been different. I mean, if I needed his help and he popped into my life. What? What? You'd, you'd been more grateful? The man only sees an obligation when he looks at me. Have you any clue what that feels like? Do you have any clue what it's like to have a relationship with a father? No. No, I don't think you do. But I bet you imagine it. The family dinners, the fishing trips, the little league baseball. I'm not two years old, okay? When are you gonna get that? I went out of this burg and out of this family, I mean, and it can't be soon enough for me. Do you want to spend the rest of your life alone, Nick? Is that what you want? What I want is a father who doesn't see a big obligation every time he looks at me. How can he feel any differently when you won't even let him in? For what? So he can cop an attitude or dish out more fatherly advice? It's too late for that. Michael doesn't know anything about me or what I've been through. You have been through? Yeah. What you have been through? Do you have any idea what Michael has been through? Do you have any idea of what he is dealing with now? No, no, you don't. No one does. All I am asking is to give Michael a fighting chance so that he can be some kind of a father to you. But he still can't. Look, I got six months left of probation. Maybe I'll spend the rest of it on the farm. Maybe. All right, I will, I will, all right? But that's it. After that, I'm out of here. I'm gone. Make this work, Nick. Make this work. Or it'll be the biggest mistake of your life. Hello, Mom. Surprised you're still here. Oh, I was thinking. <laughs> well, Nick and I just had some things to clear up, didn't we, Nick? But we're all done now. For good. <sighs> My little heart just won't take this. <laughs> and I'm not talking about some dumb high blood pressure thing, either. Yeah. <clears throat>
Mom can uh, be pretty rough when she wants to be. <laughs> yeah, like she was ever rough on you. Ah, uh, well, I tell you, she got uh, she got mad at me a few times, and I can tell you that I uh, I deserved it. So you came back. Yeah, you surprised? Maybe. Well, I am too. I can't walk out. Now. You know, I thought about it just now. I mean, you've given me plenty of reason to take off the last few months. I'm not going to step through that door. I decided the only way that you're not going to see me again is if you choose to leave. But it's up to you. I'm not leaving. Don't go expecting any promises. Not, I, I'm not. Because I ain't giving any. I understand. And you gave me a place to hang, and you kept me out of jail. So I'll do what the court order says, and then from there, I'll, I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, that means we got six months, right? Six months. Deal? Deal. <laughs> 